Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Voilu, Voilu, Luke. And today we're going to be blasting Rotted Pestilent Tomb on Head Split Records. It's a one man death metal machine. All instruments, vocals, and backing vocals performed by Dylan Jones. It's a fucking man. Rotting death metal. So fucking sick. I was just looking at the stickers of his guitar before I even threw this on and was like, where the fuck did he get a Demi Lick sticker from? I was more like impressed with that than anything, but no, really. The music on here, holy fucking shit. Crushing, filthy. Oh, it reminds me like of. Undergang, honestly, like, just really knuckle-dragging, heavy, fucking awesome, awesome, filthy fucking death metal. I can't wait to review this for you guys, but today, have to continue this Oregon thing, because that Oregon death bundle was fucking amazing, and it also had this uh, 2016... Demo slash EP, whatever you want to call it, by Disembowel, Dramatic Decay, fuck me, these four tracks are bad fucking ass, I mean come on, ripping Christ from the cross, fucking A, that's an awesome song title, <laughs> Seriously, and I love, love, love this old school, you know, cassette. Just the old style color, nothing fancy. Just that clear old analog goodness that was my dear old friend for so many years. And I'm glad to have, you know, cassettes back in my life and have them fucking be as rad as they are. Because Disembowel are one of those bands that just really, really fucking blew me away. Like, again, it was one of those, like, love at first listens. Like, Dramatic Decay was just, wow. It, like, grabbed me by the nuts and was like, yo, this is fucking sick. This was the reason I bought the whole uh, Oregon Death Bundle. I was just so fucking impressed by this and... Yeah, I did cheat and check out the one band, but also, I, I knew how good this was, and I needed to get a copy of it. Just look at that artwork. Amazing stuff. Dramatic Decay, so fucking good. And this is not to be confused with the other disembowels in the game. In New York City and Texas, I think there's disembowels. And I don't even know how many disembowel mints there are, but there's only one that really matters, and that's the Australian one. But when it comes to disembowel, the Oregon version is so fucking good. Have an awesome cemetery photo. And these guys uh, used to be in this band Maniac. Some are still in uh, Raptor. And a couple band members used to be in, um, I think they're called Mangled Corpse. I'm uh, not 100% sure. But, uh, yeah, you have uh, Abraham Ankaria on bass. And uh, Gage Halprusky on guitar. And Sergio Guinez on drums and vocals. Sergio has sick, sick vocals. Seriously, I really, really love the vocal delivery on here. It's just fucking rotting and just filthy sounding, fucking vile. Like, it's a crushing mix of, like, Finnish death metal alongside Florida Americanized death metal. Like, if you like Massacre, you're gonna love this. Like, it just has this kind of Massacre vibe to it. Um, I, I read some other reviews, people were comparing this to Obituary, and some of the riffs, yeah, but vocally, no, no, no. This is like, 
just straight old school, kind of even reminded me of Chris Barnes era Cannibal Corpse in the vocal department. Like, amazing stuff here on here. Like, Disembowel, fucking kill it because they have that finish like memorable like riff style going on along style alongside this just crushing tectonic death metal bow movement of awesome fucking filthy sonic awesomeness like seriously it's just fucking so sick so vile and just dead fucking heavy American death metal. One of the better bands in the underground right now. One of those bands that I can't wait for a fucking full length from because you just know it's gonna fucking be badass. It's one of those projects. Uh, the program repeats on both sides on here, but these four tracks, like, I'm pretty sure this, cl this clock's in a little bit over 20 minutes of just absolute fucking filthy, heavy death metal, but with this like kind of good production. Like, I'm not talking about like Pro Tools, Trigger Drums, fuck no. This is fucking filthy, rotten, you know, death metal. But it just has this kind of clarity to it as well. Alongside the filth, there's like just this, you know, you can hear every riff, you can hear every fucking guttural, it's just great. Like, the pronunciation as well that uh, Sergio does on uh, some of the lyrics, it's amazing. Like, great, great fucking stuff. Uh, the logos by Sergio as well. I love a good hand-drawn logo, and I forget who they got to do the uh, artwork, actually. Oh, um, Uri... Kanam, who uh, did the Mortifernum artwork, actually, and logo. That's pretty fucking sick. And Charlie from Ascended Dead uh, recorded and mixed this bad boy, which is probably why it sounds so fucking good. And some other bands that this, like, reminds me of, like Phantasm, Immolation, shit like that. That's all over here, like, especially on the American side of things. On the Finnish side of things, I heard a lot of, like, sentenced, convulse, kind of your, you know, usual suspects when it comes to Finnish death metal. But in the vocal department, I have to say, this really, really has an American sound to it, and it's great. Like, really, really reminds me kind of of Massacre meets Chris Barnes' error Cannibal Corpse. Yeah. There you go. That's the vocal delivery on Disembowel. And musically, this is so fucking sick. Like I said, imagine a uh, sentence from Finland having unproper, bestial sex with obituary while Massacre films it and then sells it for profit. That's how disembowel sound when it comes to the total filth and heaviness that is dramatic decay on Head Split Records. This is so fucking good. I really cannot wait for a full length delivery from this band. Just complete and utter love and total death worship. Not the band, not fucking anything like that just total love of death metal is what i hear most of all when i listen to disembowel you can just tell that these guys when when they were writing dramatic decay just fucking love death metal and just wanted to make a mark on their scene and hey they made a mark all the way across the country here in my bedroom and it's just been brooding and being played back and forth for the past couple days. It's just one of those tapes you just need to listen to twice. It's just so good. That's why I love that the program repeats on both sides because as soon as it's over, 
you just flip that bad boy and you get the fucking enjoy disembowel dramatic decay all over again and you have the title track dramatic decay my favorite track on here ripping christ from the cross sadistic pleasure and darkness sadistic pleasure another amazing song the guitar work on it is top fucking notch definitely you're gonna hear that finish vibe on that track but uh yeah when it comes to the title track just totally crushing american death metal once again showing that the pacific northwest is not fucking around when it comes to extreme metal like from black to death to thrash there's so many fucking sick bands right now in the pacific northwest all the way down to fucking San Diego. It's insane. And I love it. The West Coast right now is really, really killing it when it comes to the death metal scene. And I love it. And I love Disembowel, Dramatic Decay on Head Split Records. This is just great, great stuff. Ripping Christ from the cross. Just wait till you hear that track. It's just fucking awesome. So, get into some disembowel on a nice old school looking tape as well. Program repeats on both sides. Around 25 minutes of just fucking awesome, filthy, yet memorable fucking death metal from Oregon. It's great, great stuff here. X Maniac, Mangled Corpse, Raptor, just great stuff. And uh, this death metal attack, it's fucking amazing, and I cannot recommend it enough. Disembowel, Dramatic Decay, this demo, EP, whatever, I'm gonna give this a fucking 9 out of 10. It's just great stuff, really, really captured my attention, and I'm left wanting more, which is the point of these little boners here, which is why they get the term, boners, because you're left just fuck what do I do with this thing but we have been blasting this one man death metal machine right here rotted pestilent tomb also on head split records total filth if you're a fan of undergang uh, hypodonita worm ridden yeah you are going autopsy obviously you are going to love Rotted, Pestilent Tomb, so fucking good, and knowing that this all comes from one person in uh, Dylan Jones, it's fucking amazing. Absolutely rotting death metal. Great stuff, and yeah, get into this. I snagged it from Head Split Records, and same with Disembowel. So... Head Split Records is the fucking shit. That's all I know. And you guys are fucking shit. So as always, thanks for watching and... Hills! <laughs>